surfing now. <laughs> That's okay. Um, well, Mayor Santos, wherever you are, I hate to burst your bubble, but I, actually, I think it's my daddy that ordered this weather today. <laughs> As you know, uh, it, uh, it certainly takes a village. And uh, I know a lot of people have been thanked, but on behalf of the Fred Korematsu family, I in particular would like to um, thank the Board of Education, um, the current um, President Mike Katz-Lakabe, and, and also the, uh, the former um, School Board of Education as well, because I know they're the ones that really started in this process. Uh, also, the Facilities and Technology Committee, which I got to sit in on a couple of times, did a lot of hard work and would like to thank uh, Pauline Cutter, who is chair of that committee. And also, um, of course, the Measure B people who really worked so hard to make all of this happen. The district staff, Director Mike Murray, Leroy Smith from the Lions Club, um, and also Robin Michelle, wherever you are, has been my backbone and really has helped to put this ceremony together and I think we all need to give her a big round of applause. Also, I'd like to thank the San Leandro community for advocating and supporting uh, the naming of the school after my father and in particular the San Leandro voters. Uh, unfortunately, I was able to be here one afternoon when they were doing a tour uh, with the parents and, and some of the students, and one of the parents came up to me and said, I voted for your father to, so that the name would be named, you know, named after him. So it was really very heartwarming. Um, I'd like to introduce my family at this time. Uh, first of all, mother, I can't see you. My, my mother, Mrs. Uh, Catherine Korematsu. I know you're not supposed to tell a woman's age, but she's 89 years old. She was married to my father for 58 and a half years, and uh, they were very much a big part of the San Leandro uh, community uh, with their public service. Also, I'd like to introduce my younger brother, uh, who looks even 10 years younger than his age, Ken Korematsu, please stand who is artistic in his own right. Uh, my father was very artistic and so is my brother. Uh, my husband, Donald Haig. <laughs> Unfortunately, my sister-in-law, Cece Kormatsu, couldn't be with us um, today. And uh, also I'd like to introduce um, my cousins, uh, Joanne Kormatsu Kataoka and her husband, Jeff Kataoka my uh, cousin Gary Korematsu, who came all the way down from the gold country. I'd like to introduce also a particular um, special friend. Walt Herman was my father's uh, close friend since high school. They attended Castlemont High School, and he's here today, and I think you're 91? Are you 91? Yes, 91 years old. Also, I'd like to recognize uh, Eric Fournier. Uh, he's the director of my father's documentary, please stand, uh, of Civil Wrongs and Rights, the Fred Korematsu story, and my brother was also co-producer. It won uh, two Emmys for Best uh, Director and Best Editing. So uh, I hope you all be able to see it. The San Leandro uh, Library did a wonderful uh, program uh, a couple weeks ago honoring my father with a film festival and uh, all being well um, and we may do it anyway on on January 30th of uh, next year uh, we're going to have a special celebration at Wheeler Hall at UC Berkeley and we'll be showing the uh, the documentary and a special reception and, and program uh, also at this time I'd like to uh, uh, ask that you send your uh, get well cards and any home remedies because I guess the governor's got a cold and he hasn't signed the bill yet and he's got the end till the end of the month. Also, I'd like to recognize uh, my father's Quorum Nobis team. Uh, a few members are here today uh, who were the ones to help uh, reopen my, my father's case in 1983. Professor Peter Irons, would you please stand? 
was the one that found the evidence in Washington, D.C. Uh, that proved that there was no milita military necessity uh, for the Japanese Americans to be evacuated from the West Coast and found the evidence that the U.S. government got lied to the Supreme Court, altered e evidence and withheld evidence. Uh, also here is uh, Judge Dennis Hayashi, uh, who was in, in introduced earlier, and he's going to be saying a few words um, after um, I, I finish. Also, I'd like to, uh, I know the architects, WLC, have been recognized, but my father was a, a, a structural draftsman. He uh, you know, did all the drawings for steel and iron, and there's so many wonderful examples in, of, of great design that was incorporated into this building. And I know my father would just love this. Uh, when I first saw it, actually, I have to tell you a funny story. Because when we learned that this campus was going to be named after my father, my mother, who still lives in San Leandro, and I were going and, and taking a look at this building. And uh, we kept going by uh, this particular building, and it was under construction, and we kept saying, there's no way that this school is going to be finished by August you know, 25th or 4th or whenever school started. We were looking at the Arts and Education Center that was next to the high school because we said it was the campus was going to be built next to the high school. And, then, and it was before, of course, the name was up on the building. And once we saw this, it's like, oh my gosh, are you kidding? This is just absolutely wonderful. This has to be a model for other uh, ninth grade campuses, you know, for the state and the nation because, you know, as our superintendent has encouraged, please do take the tours. This is state-of-the-art. I mean, you go into the uh, uh, science labs, there's two science labs kind of next door to each other with what have a work area and a dishwasher for washing up those uh, beakers. Remember when you had to wash your own beakers in chemistry? I mean, my mother was a microbiologist. I mean, just, I told her she couldn't believe it. <laughs> All these smart boards and uh, Wi-Fi, and it's, it's really, you know, with the gym, I mean, this gym is just gorgeous. Mat room, it's, uh, the library is gonna have 5,000 books. It's, it, the kids are, are so lucky, and I know the other high school must be jealous. <laughs> I, I spoke to uh, uh, McKinley um, Elementary School this afternoon along with Professor Peter Irons and Stan Yoki, who wrote the book um, Where There's a Fight, wonderful book about California history stories, so um, I'm plugging your book, Stan. And these were fourth graders that were learning about um, American history and in particular about my father and his fight for justice. Uh, and uh, they asked these, all these wonderful questions and, and one of them was, why is that school being named after your father? Which was of course a very excellent question. And I said, well, he was an American civil rights hero. And he had the courage to stand up and, and against the government. And he felt that he was right and the government was wrong. And I said to all those students, you all have courage in you. You just never know when you're gonna to have to use it. And so this, these kinds of stories, I think are wonderful models and inspiration, I hope for future generations. And, uh, and I do thank you all for, you know, recognizing my, my father, but his story was, is not just his own story or that of the Japanese American incarceration, it's an American story. So thank you. As I alluded um, to before, um, you know, my, my parents were always a part of this, um, the San Leandro community in, in public service. Uh, my father was involved in Boy Scouts and in the San Leandro Lions Club for over 45 years and he was president twice so we went to many crab feeds selling white canes on the corner and he roped my brother and I into doing things and if you get a chance I've done a little small display of the, in, the, uh, in the trophy case that's in the hallway um, on the entrance in, into the school so you uh, can take a look at some of uh, some of his things it's, it's not all of it of course but it might give you a little bit a uh, better idea of, of, um, of about him.
thing. Mike Hassett, principal, where are you? Would you please come forward? And also, I think we have a student representative or a new student body president of the Fred T. Korematsu campus. Why don't all the students come up? This is your school. And uh, uh, from, my, from my family, um, we would like to give to the school a, a, a photograph of my father to hang um, next to the trophy case uh, to the entrance to the school. Do you want to pull back the cloth or take it off or whatever you do? This is a photograph that was taken uh, by our family friend and attorney, Shirley Nacau, and I don't think she's here. She may be in Argentina doing the tango. Uh, but the, uh, there's a brass plate that's inset into the matting, and it says Fred T. Korematsu, 1919 to 2005, civil rights activist, received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, 1998. So I hope uh, when you come into the school that you will be inspired um, by my father's story and carry that with you the rest of your life. Thank you. On behalf of the students of the San Leandro High School, Fred T. Korematsu campus, we thank you for this very special photograph and you can be assured that we will live up to your father's name. 